Hey, and welcome. Today we'll quickly cover installing both the Gauss Package Manager as well as an example package. From the Tools menu, select the Package Manager menu item. If you're only interested in our selection of free applications, feel free to immediately press Install. If you've paid for certain applications, you can enter your AppTech provided credentials here. If you don't have this information right now, it's really not a big deal. You can always add it later on. Once the package manager is installed, you'll be notified and presented with the list of currently installed packages. It should be empty right now because we've just installed it. Let's install an example package. Select the plus icon in the upper right hand corner and the repository dialog will appear. Any row listed here with a white background is a free package or a package that you own and is available for download. A red background indicates a paid package that isn't currently owned by you. If you do need one of these packages, contact AppTech support using the link below. If you didn't enter your account credentials earlier and wanted to add them now, you can do so via the settings dialog here. Let's scroll down and select the free package tspdlib for time series panel data. Now click the install button. The installation status will be displayed and when completed, we can close the dialog. Let's go back to our list of currently installed packages. Here we can see that tspdlib is now installed and it should be available for use within Gauss. Just to make sure, let's run the Mackie co-integration example. Excellent, looks good. Thanks again for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest Gauss content. See you next time.